What is up you guys? Today I'm going to give you a little build update on the 1973 Volkswagen Super Beetle that I am putting a 6 liter LS in. We're going to call it Project Grey Matter and it should be awesome. So, I've been working on it today. I've made a little bit of progress. I'm pretty excited. Um, the lighting is terrible in here, so sorry for that. But I'm going to show you a couple of my body mounts I made. I've made I guess a four points of body mounts, because I made two separate body mounts for the front and then one kind of combined for the rear, but I also got my power glide in finally, so I'll just show you guys that. So there's not a lot of room in here, but I'm making do with what I got. I'm going to just hop in, it's really dark, might uh, turn the flash on, there we go, it's pretty dark in here but you can see I got my firewall cut out you got my power glide bolted up to it and believe it or not that is the stock cross member for a four wheel drive 1997 GMC Jimmy so that kinda was surprising I don't think it will be the right height but I can definitely use it as a model for my my cross member that I am going to build so that's really cool um, there's one of the body mounts on the front Excuse the welding, it's really terrible. Um, I'm still learning. This is one of the first projects I've really done a lot of welding on, and I am not very good yet. I'm not very good with the settings, but, you know, we'll figure it out as we go. I fabbed this up real quick. I've got some trimming to do right there, and I've got a lot more welding to do, but this is my rear body mount. So... It's notched and slides over the frame right there, and then obviously it's welded up to be welded on both sides right there. Comes around, it's going to be bead welded across the bottom and top. I need to do a little more grinding on the top. And then same thing right there, and it's notched and slid over that side of the frame. And I'm going to be putting a bottom support across, obviously. And yeah, that should be my rear rear body mount. I'm going to do one or two body mounts on the sides. You can see the heater channels right there. I had to cut quite a bit of it out to clear. There's not much to mount to on the sides, honestly. The metal is really thin right there, and quite a bit has rusted away and eroded. So I'm going to mount the body every place that I can, even if it is thin metal. A lot of small mounts will be good. That's about the best I can get with what I've got to work with. but. I'm excited, I get to trim some more stuff up underneath the dash and drop the firewall down, start building my trans tunnel, start building the skeleton for my floor. One thing I did notice is this torsion bar cross member that they put in from the factory is for a four wheel drive, obviously this isn't a four wheel drive, it's a two wheel drive frame. So I'm going to have to reinforce the frame and remove this. Alright, so I don't have a lot of room to work in this Connex box, it can get a little frustrating, but we're making progress and that's what's important. Um, I'm excited. I'm super excited. I'm going with a 6 liter LS, an LQ4, out of a 2000 Chevy Suburban. Going with a built power glide that I found on Facebook. And he, was, he told me it's built to hold around 800 horse. My goal for my raceway is going to be around 2300 pounds with me in it so not worried about that trans at all um i still have a stock 10 volt rear end which i'm just gonna see how far it goes when it blows it blows and i'll do a nine inch or an eight eight um i am pretty excited i picked up a phytech let me go show you i picked up a phytech standalone system so so i'm pretty excited it's a standalone system designed specifically for the ls it's self-learning, it's got two wideband O2s, and it self-learns and self-tunes. Generally, it won't get it perfect, but it'll get it nice and close and keep it safe. So I'm pretty excited for that. I've got some big heads and a big cam that I'm probably going to be throwing on this LQ4, and hopefully we can hit our goal. I'm pretty excited. still have a lot of cleaning up to do. We'll do a lot of cuts and a lot of cleaning, a lot of sheet metal work to make the engine bay look better. I will be doing a rear mount radiator, which I'm going to have to design the mount for and figure out how to route the lines and everything. I think, I'm not sure, I'm going to do some more research on it, but I think a uh, one of the stock mechanical water pumps 
should be able to push the water back there and pull it through. I, again, I'm not sure. I might have to put a carrier pump in the middle. I'm not sure, but I'm going to try and run it off a, uh, a stock mechanical water pump. So I'm going to have my crank, mechanical water pump, alternator. That'll be on the front. It'll be really clean. And then we're going to do, you know, just headers back. And I've got a nice LS2 intake that I bought. And yeah, it's going to be a really simple, clean. I might even shave the engine bay if I have time. Not sure if I will, but it's going to be a nice, simple, clean engine bay, rear mount radiator, dual pusher fans. You're going to have a, a nice big trans cooler and a pusher fan on it, and hopefully we'll be able to daily drive this thing, or at least street drive it. I'm pretty excited. So that's just a little update video for you guys. I'm still trying to get comfortable in front of the camera. I'm trying to learn techniques to record better, and I'm just trying to plan it out. I haven't been able to get much recording done because I'm trying to get a lot of physical work done because I'm kind of on a timeline, but I promise you I will get better. You're going to get consistent videos, and you guys will be along for the ride when we build this thing from here to the point that it's finished, and yeah, I'm pretty excited. Thanks for watching the Two Bros Performance YouTube channel. Comment down below, tell me what you guys think, critique me, help me learn, give me some advice, ideas, anything you want, I'm always willing to learn. Uh, please smash that like button, hit subscribe, make sure you hit the little bell so you get post notifications, so when I upload a video, you get it first. Go check out the Two Bros Performance Instagram, follow us, you'll get build updates there too. I'm really excited, I got a lot more in store for you guys, we got a lot of different builds we're ready to do, and... We are trying to get this bug ready for LS Fest West 2020. It's in April. We're in mid-January right now, and I'm trying to get this done by April 24th-ish. I want to get to LS Fest West 2020 in Las Vegas. So hopefully I will. Hopefully we can make the time crunch. Hopefully I'll see you guys there.